Shalom, Shalom. Call Hala, Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahushai, Bahashem, Rakakwadash. That's giving all praise to the Most High. Name is Only Begotten Son, in the name of the Holy Spirit. My name is Ibar from the Prophets in Babylon camp down here in Tampa, Florida. And I want to give double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone who taught us his truth and truth and sincerity, peace and salutations to the hopeful elect scattered abroad. Okay, and real quick, I want to touch on a uh, quick topic of so you think you're righteous. Okay, so you think you're righteous. Because you got some of our people out here that claim to be in the truth, claim to know they, they Israel, claim to know about Yahweh and Yahweh Shai, and they really believe that they're righteous, man. They really think that they don't need, you know, cleansing. They think that they're perfect. They think that they're whole. When in reality, you are the furthest thing from it. And on this video, I want to show you who the Lord is dealing with, man. Okay, he is not dealing with those that think that they're perfect, that think that they're whole, that think that they're the, you know, got God sent it or King David. Okay, bunch of madness going on. So in this video, I want to touch on that topic. And I'll start off with Isaiah chapter 64, verse uh, verse 6. It says, but we are all as an unclean thing. Okay, we are all as an unclean thing. And all our righteousness are as filthy rags. And we all do fade as a leaf. And our iniquities like the wind have taken us away. Okay, now the point of this scripture is that our righteousness, all of our righteousness are as filthy rags. Like if you are washing your face and you tell your child to bring you a rag to clean your face with. And though your child obeys you and bring you a rag, it's a filthy rag, you know, and that, that you know, it, hey amen. You know, that, that, that's how we are unto the Lord with our righteousness, though we, you know, make these, you know, uh, pistols. Okay, making our bodies a living sacrifice, it is still a filthy sacrifice because we are still in sin. You got God saying that they're that they're not in sin, God saying they're not subject to sin, God saying that they're, 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 they're the elect. You don't want to ever come in that spirit, man. Okay, don't ever come in that spirit where you get too proud, man. Okay, let me grab that. Okay, because Lord warned us of that, man. He says, uh, Matthew chapter 20, 23, verse. Um, Verse 12, it says, um, I'm going to go to verse 11. It says, but he that is greatest among you shall be your servant. So this ain't about making ourselves the greatest and being this big and bad person. And even if you are great, even if you are, you know, uh, you may be, a, you know, a, a man that's, you know, on a high level, a higher level than other men. Hey, well, even that you pose, make yourself a servant to those younger men. Never proud and boasting yourself above them like you're so righteous, you're so perfect. You 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 got it all figured out because you don't. It says, and whosoever shall exalt himself shall be abased, and he that shall humble himself shall be exalted. You see? So you can't be too proud in this thing, man. You can't get to that point where you think that you're just perfect, where you think that you don't sin. Okay. And if you in that spirit, the Lord is, is, is gonna be upset with you, man. When the Lord comes back, he's not gonna deal with you, man. He gonna leave you out there with 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 with, with, with the rest of the proud, the ones the rest of the ones who think that they are perfect. Okay, Mark chapter two verse seventeen. When Yahushua heard it, he said unto them, "They that are whole have no need of a of the physician." And who's the physician? Yahushua. So if you say that you perfect, if you say that you don't sin, if you think same thing that you keep the law perfectly, and you just this you know law abiding citizen of apparently then you have no need of a, of a physician you have no need of your you saying you don't need your shot you saying your shot died in vain okay his sacrifice was in vain if you could just save yourself if you can just get up and, and keep and keep our laws perfectly on this side and save yourself what's the point of your shot making that sacrifice for us man it doesn't make any sense and that's why you that's why you got to be humble man the lord our lord died for us man he died for our sins scripture says he suffered because of our sins and the lord died for our sins it says, but they that are sick, okay, it says, they that are whole have no need of, of the physician, but they that are sick, well, that's what the Lord is coming for, those that are sick, those that can admit they are sick, the Lord said, confess your sins. It says, I came not to call the righteous, but sinners to repentance. So the Lord said, I ain't come for no righteous, man. 
He didn't come for the righteous. He came to call sinners to repentance. Okay, and really, if you have any understanding, you'll know we all are sinners. Ain't none of us are righteous. It just said that all righteousness is as filthy rags. So the Lord is really coming to call all of us into pure repentance. But really, the only ones who are going to be able to, 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 to obtain that is the elect. Okay? It says, and the disciples of John and, and, and of the Pharisees used, used to fast. And they come. Well, that's pretty much the point. Okay, that's pretty much the point. The Lord said that He is only He's come to call sinners to repentance, though, man. You know, if you're thinking that 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 you, you know, um, perfect, okay, you have been deceived, man. You know, if you think that you just, you know, can't make can't can't make no no, no mistakes, okay. You have you have been greatly uh, deceived, man. You know, you don't and you don't want to, you know keep continuing down, down down that road because eventually the lord going to just destroy you man you know he wants to destroy you you see <clears throat> scripture says he that uh he that saith that he sinneth not okay uh i was trying to find it but i don't think i'll be able to find it I got some else in mind, just just you know, but uh, I'll quote it real quick. Scripture, but scripture says, "He that saith he sin not, deceive see, see with his, his his own self, man." Okay, so if you saying that you don't sin or that you perfect and that you got it all figured out, then you you deceiving your own selves, man. Okay, now let's grab this story because this is the story I want to base this scripture off of. Okay, going into Luke chapter uh, eighteen, verse. I said I'll start at verse six, okay, and, and you know, bad little background. This story is a great story, a great parable that really humbled me. You know, it showed me a lot when I was when I first came into this truth, and I pray it be an edifying lesson to you watching, man. You know, of how to carry yourselves in this truth, man. You know, about being being of a meek and a humble, you know, a sincere spirit, and not many people have that, okay, especially in this truth. But this is Luke chapter 18, verse 6. It says, And the Lord said, Hear what the unjust judge saith. Shall not the Most High avenge his own elect, which cry day and night unto him, though he and uh, though he bear long with them? And that's another thing, too. The elect are going to be crying day and night, man. You, you, you know, you said they ain't going to be able to hold their peace, man. You see? It says, And he spake this parable unto certain which trusted in themselves oh so slucky let me go back up in verse 8 i tell you that he will avenge them speedily nevertheless the son of man cometh shall he find faith on earth man when the son when the son of the man come when the lord come is he gonna find faith on earth because all you people that claim to be so perfect and righteous and the lord gonna show you man he gonna show you you gonna you, you, you gonna be weak you gonna give up because you think because you think you don't need yahweh shy that's why guys go out talking about Christ. Oh, well, we say Christ because the people might, well, they, well, they, you, they, they, they need to know, man. They need to know. You're supposed to let them know, man. That's why you out there to let them know about Yahweh Shai. Not about no damn Christ. You're not doing what the Lord talking about some Christ. That wasn't that the Lord's name. He was on the walk on the earth. You could call him that. Verse 9, it says, And he spake this parable unto certain which trusted in themselves that they were righteous. And despise others. You hear this? The Lord spoke this parable unto certain of them, which are back today, that which trusted in themselves that they were righteous. I once had a man told me that there's one that says people on this earth that are keeping all the commandments perfectly. I once had a man tell me, and, he, and I and I got witnesses of other brothers in my camp. This man told us that's in another camp that's teaching that they're perfect now. He said that there's people on this earth that are keeping the laws that use the commandments perfectly. These same guys go out and they profess the law, the law, the law, but they don't even understand the law, man. You don't even, you can't even begin to understand the law if you say something like that, man. Okay? And they within themselves say that they're righteous. Okay? It says, and he, this is who the Lord is speaking to. This is who this video is for. It says, and he spake this parable unto certain which trusted in themselves that they were righteous and despised others. These people, these, you know, that scribe and Pharisee spirit, these people are, hey, they're back today. That wicked scribe and Pharisee spirit is back today, and they think that they're righteous and they're despising others. Okay, so here's the parable. It's in, and, and, and this is Yahweh Shai speaking. It says, Two men went up into the temple to pray. Okay, two men went up into the temple to pray. One a Pharisee and the other a publican. And I believe the Pharisees were like the what, what the uh, doctors of the law, 
all about the law, the law, the law, the law. Thought it was so perfect. He thought it was, you know, uh, so righteous. You know, holier than thou. Lord, when I got in the scripture too, it says the the one Pharisee. It says two men went up into the temple to pray. The one a Pharisee, the other a publican, which means a regular, you know, common fellow amongst Israel. It says the Pharisee stood and prayed with thus with himself. You see, the Pharisee stood and prayed thus with himself. God, I thank thee that I am not as other men are extortioners, unjust, idolaters, or even as this publican. He looked down at the men at the publican and said, or even as this publican. I fast twice a week, tw uh, twice in the week. I give tithes of all that I possess. Okay, so he, the, 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 the Pharisee went immediately went to talking about all the things he do and, and boasting in his own works. But get this, and the publican standing afar off would not lift up so much as his eyes unto heaven, but smote upon his breast, saying, The Most High, Yahweh Shai, be merciful unto me, a sinner. A sinner. Even Paul said, Oh, wretched man that I am. He said, Be uh, merciful. Okay, God, Most High, Yahweh Shai, be merciful unto uh, to me, a sinner. I tell you this. I said, like it says, I tell you, this man went to went down to his house justified rather than the other. Okay, so the man that humbled himself and came to the Lord and confessed that he was a sinner and and, and didn't boast of what he did right, but but, but confessed what he did wrong. Okay, and showed himself that he needed a Lord. That man went down to his house uh, justified, but the other man didn't. Even though he did all that and he's talked to he, he, you know, it wasn't in the right spirit, man. For everyone that exalted himself shall be abased, and and he that humbleth himself shall be exalted, man. Okay, so that's a and 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 and, and you know that's the the, the the you know the spirit you're supposed to be in, man. You know. Isaiah chapter sixty-five, verse five, which say, uh, Salakia, yes, yeah, says which say, stand by thyself, come not near me, for I am holier than thou. These are a smoke in my nose, a fire that burneth all the day. And you got guys in that spirit that say that they're, they think they're so holy. They think that they're holier than thou. They think that they're perfect. They think that they don't sin. They think that they, that, 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 they just got it all figured out. The Lord said those are a smoke in his nose, man. The Lord not dealing with that, man. Okay? The Lord not dealing with that, man. Okay? Thinking that you just so perfect, you just so you got it all figured out. Cause the Lord know your sins. The Lord know your know your heart. You know, you know you ain't right. And even if being that type of spirit shows you ain't right, man. You can't come into that spirit, you know, and, and thank you serving your whole body shot. It says, um This is Ecclesiastes chapter seven. Verse. I'm going to go to verse 11. I'll start at verse 13. It says, Consider the work of the Most High, for who can make that straight which he hath made crooked? In the day of prosperity be joyful, but in the day of adversity consider. The Most High hath set the one over against the other, to the end that man should find nothing after him. All things have I seen in the days of my vanity. So like you. There is a just man that perisheth in his righteousness, and there is a wicked man that prolongeth his life in his wickedness. Be not righteous over much, neither make thyself overwise. Why shouldest thou destroy thyself, man? Okay, so you can't be righteous over much thinking that you're just so perfect. You just got it all figured out because you're going you're gonna to destroy yourself, man. You're going you're gonna to start thinking that you is the most high. You're going to start thinking that you is, uh, 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 you know, the um, king of righteousness, you know. You got guys calling themselves Bishop Melchizedek. Guys thinking that they're the king of righteousness. You, that's, that's the spirit you're going to come in when you think that you're just perfect and you think that you don't sin. You think that you, the only man that ever walked this earth that did not sin was Yahweh Shai, man. 
You know, when he came in the reincarnation as Yahweh Shai. But even in his past, you know, his past lives, he sinned, man. That's why I said that he had a he had a he had a he had a sacrifice for his sins first, then for the people. Okay, and, and, and when he came as Yahweh Shai, he didn't sin. So obviously that meant that what? In his past lives he has sinned, man. So all of us, you know, fall short of the glory. I'm gonna grab that too, look, Yahweh Tazah. It says, Be not righteous over much, uh, neither make thyself Overwise, wash it as thou destroy thyself. Be not over much wicked, neither be thou foolish. Why shouldst thou die before thy time? Okay, so there's a balance in this thing, man. You know, and you thinking that you just all righteous is, is, is not a, a healthy a healthy balance, man. Okay, that's not a healthy that's not a healthy balance, man. Okay, um, what did I just say? Here we go. This is it. This is Romans chapter 3, verse 20. It says, Therefore, by the deeds of the law, there shall no flesh be justified in his sight. For by the law is knowledge of sin. So we understand what sin is by the knowledge of, by, by the law. Okay. We, uh, we, 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 uh, we have the knowledge of what sin is. But by no, by, by, by the deeds of the law shall no flesh be justified. Because you, because though you think you may, you may keep this law perfect, you may keep this law right. There's still something that you're not keeping. And the scripture says, if you break one, then you break them all. Okay. It says, but now the righteousness of the most high without the law is manifested being witnessed by the law and the prophets. You see, but now the righteousness of the most high without the law is manifested being witnessed by the law and the prophets because what when the lord came he was righteous man okay it says even the righteousness of the most high which is by faith of yahweh shai mashiach unto all and upon all them that believe all of, of israel by the way for there is no difference for all have sinned and come short of the glory of yahweh shai man Okay, so we all have sinned and come short of the glory of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai. Meaning, none of us are perfect. Okay, none, none of us are righteous. You can't say you're righteous right now, man. If you say that, then you're going to hell off. You are you are you in a proud spirit, and you, and, and, you, and you need to rebuke that spirit, man. It says, being justified freely by His grace. We are we are under grace. We not in it. We we we're not in the second cut right now. We're under grace. It says through the redemption that is in Yahweh Shai Hamashiach. Whom the Most High has set forth to be a uh, appropriation through faith in His blood, to declare His righteousness for the rem for the remission of sins that are past, through the forbearance of the Most High, to declare, I say, at this time His righteousness, that He might be just and the justifier of him which believeth in Yahweh Shai. Where is boasting then? Is it excluded? How can a God boast and say he's the elect? I'm, we are the elect. God said the elect and point at himself. Like what the fuck is wrong with you, man? We call ourselves the hopeful, the, 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 hopeful, the, hopeful, the hopeful elect. Okay? It says by what law of works? Nay, but by the law of faith. Therefore we conclude that a man is justified. Salakia. Therefore, I'm off right here. It says, therefore, we conclude that a man is justified by faith without the deeds of the law. He is he the God of the Jews only? Is is he not also the, the, the of the Gentiles, which are the heathen, the, 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 like the Israelite foreigners? Yes, of the Gentiles also, seeing it is one power which shall justify the circumcision by faith and the uncircumcision through faith. Do we then make void the law through faith? The most high forbid. Yeah, we establish the law. So though we establish the law, you can't boast of the law, man. You can't say you're perfect. You can't say you keep the law perfectly because you're not, man. Okay, and for you to think that shows that you don't know you don't know what you're part of. And those of you that that you know you may come across these individuals that say that, hey, run and flee far from those guys as possible, man. Okay. 
Uh, with that being said, I'm going to say Shalom. Kwame Sharala, Abab, Abab, praise, blessings, be edifying to the hopeful elect. Shalom.